What's up, Anna? And what's up, my fellow Awoken Ones? Um, my name is Joey Nash. I am from West Sussex. Um, I'm currently unemployed. Um, I have been unemployed in and out. I've been in and out of work since I left school. Um, I'm 30 years old. I battled with mental health for about 13, 14 years, and it's held me back a lot in my life. Um, just before the lockdown, I was on a, a good path. Uh, my mental health was good, best it ever been. Um, I was getting into work, I was working for my family's uh, cleaning service, getting myself on the right track. I had other goals and things that I want to do. Um, I also run a mental health awareness, support and personal life page on Facebook called The Lone Wolf. I have a lot of my personal experiences with mental health are, are on there. Um, and suddenly we were hit with this lockdown, you know, and there's always news around um, about this virus. So we went into lockdown um, and I was all right at the beginning. I thought a couple of weeks of lockdown, I'll be fine, you know. Um, I decided that I would go into lockdown, uh, I'd go into self-isolation for two weeks for my partner because she's a type one diabetic, so I had to be very careful. Um, and I believed it, you know, I believed there was something going on and I was like, cool, okay, you know, deal with it and get back to life. Um, and as time went by, it kind of hit me. Um, I'm a very skeptical person anyway. I'm very much into conspiracy theories and things like that. And something just didn't add up. And as time went by, I kind of realized there was a lot of things that didn't make sense. And I've got some things written down here that I'm going to address uh, as quickly as possible within the uh, time, time, time frame. So we have inaccurate tests. Um, a lot of people, uh, it's now coming out, you know, that there's, there's been inaccurate testing and it's all, it's all pretty much just a load, of, a load of ball, basically. So the test count, all of the tests throughout the world, you know, say there's two, one, two million tests. Can't take that at face value because of the inaccurate testing. So we'll never know how many people actually tested with this strain, this COVID-19. And then we've got fraudulent death certificates. Again, we all know about that. It's all coming out, fraudulent death certificates of people that haven't even died of this COVID-19 are being put down as COVID-19 deaths. Um, people that haven't even been tested, you know, people that are presumed, it's like, oh, you know, they've got this symptom, COVID-19. So we know the death rate, the death toll is far higher than it, it probably is, well, it should be. It's going to be a lot lower. And then we have the uns unscientific um, evidence surrounding masks and gloves and the contradictions and all this sort of stuff that just doesn't add up. Obviously, the masks, um, for the most part, don't work, you know, unless you're in a medical setting. Um, and the gloves, you know, you go around picking stuff up. Yeah, I've got the gloves protecting my hands. And then you take the gloves off. And then you've got it on your hands anyway. You know, it's just very, none of it makes sense, you know. It just, it makes sense to those that don't think outside the box. They're not awake. You know, it's just all, I've been told this, I've been told that, do it, you know. Uh, the whole social distancing rule. Um, I mean, social distancing, I'm sure, does work to a degree. Um, but I mean, you had that one, you had the, the WHO, the World Health Organization saying one meter, you had countries doing one and a half, you had countries doing two, and you know, you're so stuck on that two meter rule, two meter rule, two meter rule, even though there is a bit of give, but people are just like, two meters away, stay two meters away, and it's just like, whoa, you know, the WHO say one meter, right? Calm it, you know, but it's just that we were kind of stuck on it, so it's like, it has to be two meters. It's like, yeah, but if you go to another country, it's one and a half. You know, you're going to shout at me for being one and a half. It's, it's, do you know what I mean? And there's just so many different things that, that kind of make this all uh, fit. Um, children don't suffer with this virus, whatever it is. Um, they don't pass it on to adults. It's all very weak within them. They, they tend to deal with it a lot better. Um, and it's hot, that whole thing surrounding schools. You know, we can't open schools again because the children are at risk and everything else. So we have to shut down everything else in order for the kids to go to school. But they are really irrelevant in this whole pandemic because um, they don't play a role, not as, uh, as much as we are made to believe. Uh, and then we've got things like hydroxychloroquine. So we've got medical treatments. We've got treatment out there for people. Um, hydroxychloroquine has been completely censored and banished from conversation when it comes to you know global health and stuff like that. And then there's no talk of vitamin D, vitamin C and zinc and all these things that benefit us and help us to fight such things, you know? Uh, so nobody's talking about that. The government, or anyway, mainstream media. Um, so I've got a few things there that just, you know, didn't make sense, you know? We kind of, 
doing everything that we shouldn't be doing to protect ourselves and then we're not doing everything that we should be doing. Um, and, and you know, things like, th another thing that just makes this whole thing a little bit confusing is, you know, in the beginning it was all protect the NHS, protect the vulnerable. Um, NHS, for those who don't know, is National Health Service in uh, England, Great Britain. Um, you know, protect the vulnerable, but care homes were the last place to be shut down. They shut care homes down last. And then it happened that it so happened that a third of total deaths were in care homes. Make sense of that, okay? It doesn't make sense. Um, and then we get, you know, as time goes by, all of these things unravel, you know, and I don't have time to get into it all. Um, but we have things like the push for the vaccine, the fast track vaccine. Do you trust it? No, I don't. Haven't had a vaccine since I was a kid. I'm perfectly fine, I think. Uh, and then we've got things like track and trace. Um, you know, they're trying to track people. Um, if you've been come into contact with that person or that person, you need to go into lockdown, you need to go into lockdown. And we're just being told that, you know, um, that come in for me. Um, and there's just all these contradictions of everything else, you know. Um, none of it makes sense. You have to wear a mask and queue to get into Sainsbury's, but then when you go to the self-service, you can touch the touch screen and they don't clean it down. None of it makes sense. It's time to wake up. Find me at The Lone Wolf on Facebook. Take care, guys.